Hi guys, what's up? This is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Now, I'm going to talk to you about CGM, which is Continuous Glucose Monitoring Systems. Now, we have a lot of videos comparing Dexcom to Libre. I did another video where I compared the Libre 2 to Dexcom to Guardian. But in that video, I basically gave myself a bunch of insulin, dropped my blood sugar down, and just wanted to see how effective the, the CGMs were in the low range, which one was more effective. Now, today, I'm just going to tell you my honest opinion in, in today's condition which one is the best now so when i say which one is best i don't mean necessarily which one is more accurate or which one is uh, less accurate etc i'm going to give you a quick view uh, of what they are and what would fit you best because everybody is different some people like dexcom some people like libre uh, and a lot of people don't understand the nuances in between them or how even how to use them uh, we even have a video uh, about how to analyze and interpret uh, the CGM. Now, if you want to find the links for those videos, they are uh, in the description uh, below. So make sure you uh, watch all these videos or continue to watch the playlist that we have about the CGM so you can be very well worse before you make any decision. Now, um, let's start with Dexcom. Dexcom has been very popular. Um, the problem with Dexcom that I see personally in my clinic is that number one, it is expensive. It is the, one of the most expensive CGM out there. Uh, they have done well. Uh, they were really doing well. Uh, but the problem is they have this growing pains and unfortunately the orders take forever and their customer service kind of is not that great. Uh, a lot of people get pissed because they blame the doctor's office, they blame this, they, 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 they never blame themselves. And that's a problem. When a company says we are doing everything right and everybody else is wrong, that is a problem. So uh, be careful about that with Dexcom. Uh, some people have good experience, some people have bad experience. Again, I'm not here to bash Dexcom with the customer service. When it comes to their device, uh, device is very nice. Uh, you don't have any finger sticks involved. It goes directly to your um, phone. Uh, so, And then when you share your data with your doctor, so I see a lot of patients remotely, virtually, and I can see their blood sugar uh, from home or from my office without having to invite them to my office, right? So that's the, one of the beautiful things we do all the time. Even before the COVID, we have been doing this, uh, seeing patients virtually so they don't have to travel to the office and spend half a day, etc. So, uh, but I think Dexcom does well. When it comes to accuracy, I think it's very accurate, except uh, if your blood sugars are plummeting super fast, a few times uh, I have seen personally, like when I did this to myself and I dropped my own blood sugar, not that I'm diabetic, but I'm doing crazy things all the time. Um, but uh, basically, that's that's what happened. The Dexcom was lagging behind, and and Libre Two, which is the newest Libre in the market, did better. And uh, by the way, this video is not sponsored by any means, so don't think that I'm getting paid from anyone. Even if I did, you know that I will never say anything incorrect, uh, or I would never hide anything from you guys because my priority is you. Uh, the bottom line is Dexcom is very good technologically advanced uh, they have a cloud system you can share your data easily accuracy is very good uh, they have alerts that alerts you 20 minutes before your blood sugar drops they have this um, like every every other CGM they have the arrow system they show you how fast your blood sugar goes up again I'm not gonna go into detail here because we have a video about how to analyze and interpret CGM which link in the description below um, but uh, definitely you need to understand how to use your CGM. So sometimes you may get you may get a camera, for example, for $1,000, and then if you think that you're just going to push the button, it's going to work, uh, it will work, but it's not going to probably give you the full functionality that you want to get from the camera that you paid $1,000 for. So uh, same way, you need to understand what the, that device, that expensive device that you got, and understand the details of it, how it works, or how, what it does, what it doesn't do, uh, and how you can get the most out of it so very important try to understand dexcom that's why we have a lot of videos about that now uh, how does it compare to libre or libre 2 now libre uh, the old libre and the libre 2 which are two different things now uh, there are these advantages and disadvantages to both now to be honest with you i did not like the original libre because uh, it has given a lot of false 
positive low numbers. Like people will constantly come to me and say, I'm waking up with the low blood sugar doc. You know, since I start using this, my blood sugar is in the 50s, 60s every morning. And I'm like, do you feel anything? They're like, no. I'm like, did you ever check the finger stick? They're like, no. Well, yeah, check the finger stick because it's not correct. You know, more than 80% of the time, when it says your blood sugar is 50, it's not really 50. It's maybe like 75, 80. Yes, it's on the low side, but it's not really at the number that you need to panic. So that was the problem with the old Libre. But what was the good thing about the old Libre is, uh, although, you know, it still showed you, by the way, it still showed the trends. It shows you how, you know, your blood sugar trends. It may not match your finger stick like, to the point, typically there's around 20 milligram per deciliter difference, but as long as what the difference is between your Libre and your meter, then you can kind of do the math, you know, like say, okay, well, maybe uh, it's reading 20 higher, 20 lower. Um, but, and then you have to be aware of the false positives and false negatives, uh, especially old Libre also was not very accurate when it goes about like 250. So if you are staying between 80 and 250 and you just want to see your trends, the old Libre is great. Uh, but a lot of false positive and false negatives you have to do finger stick if you see something out of totally out of like normal uh, Now the good thing about Libre was that also you were able to scan yeah, your blood sugars now the the problem with the Libra overall is you have to scan it for for the for the device to keep recording your blood sugar numbers uh, it's not like you cannot just forget about it and just check whenever you want on your cell phone so that scanning feature I believe they are gonna get rid of that soon but you are still stuck with the you have to remember to scan now if you don't have if you're not using a phone if you're not into technology or too difficult for you and you're still using a meter then you have to carry a meter with you uh, which Dexcom also offers that too but I think it's kind of a pain to try to carry your meter with you I think that's one of the things that that, that defeats the purpose if I'm gonna carry a meter I might as well do a finger stick too so it's like you know, it's not in the world so why am I paying so much money or why am I you know carrying an extra device on my body um, you know, that uh, that wouldn't just give me a, a data instantly without me having to do anything extra. Uh, but uh, Libre, that's what it is. You know, it's still for people who are like super scared of finger sticks or they're tired of finger sticks uh, and they want to be able to do uh, check their blood sugar 100 times, uh, which is okay. And uh, that Libre still works well. Uh, but you know, again, if you're using a meter, you have to keep it with you and scan with you, etc. And then when you're using a meter, uh, with old Libre, that will not automatically go to the cloud. You have to use a phone app, uh, a, a smartphone app, for data to be transferable to your physician remotely. So if you are using a meter that comes with Libre, that is not going to be transferable unless, unless you c connect with the cable to a system, which is Libre system, you go and do it yourself before your physician visit, uh, that is possible. Although it seems simple, but half the time when I tell patients, hey, did you upload your data? They're like, no. And then I'm like, we're already seeing the patient. It's, it's like, you know, when you have a lot of patients, you cannot just tell people. And then it becomes a lot of like back and forth. And uh, so uh, from, from my standpoint, I like people when their data is already in cloud. So I can click on it, I can see. Um, but that's one of the downsides with Libre. Now, also, Libre 2 came uh, around, which is great. I tested myself, and patients are telling the same thing. Their data shows the same thing, which is, is much better accuracy. So there is the false negative rates and false positive rates are much, uh, much less. Their accuracy is as good as Dexcom right now. And the cool thing about Libre is one-third of a price of Dexcom. So if you're trying to get this, like, for yourself, you know, you don't have enough insurance or your insurance doesn't cover it, I would say Dexcom is going to rip you off. Uh, well, they're not going to rip you off, but, I mean, they're, they're expensive. That's what it is, okay? So you either buy it or you don't buy it. It's a free market, right? Um, but the Freestyle Libre is one-third of the price. So if I'm diabetic, uh, I'm not going to pay three times more for something that I can get for three times less. And actually, they have a program, if you didn't know, and again, this is totally non-sponsored. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you so you can benefit from it. So you may go to Publix or you know any other big chain phar uh, pharmacy like Walgreens or CVS. They may sell it to you for $130. But, but to be honest with you, if you call the company and say, hey, my insurance doesn't cover that, and I still like your product, they're going to send you a voucher for be, for you to be able to get that for $75. So there you have it, 75 I just saved you 
uh, what, uh, $50 or $30, $60. So a lot of times I tell this to my patients, they're like, oh, really? I didn't know that. And actually, uh, that's for Freestyle Libre, Old Libre, and the new Libre, which is Libre 2. Uh, but also, and we are talking about right now, what, November, end of November 2020, so things may change. Um, but at least right now, they have this program. Now, another program they just rolled out is like they have this Freestyle Libre. If you go to myfreestylelibre.us, uh, they give you, I believe, either two weeks or four weeks, something free, uh, like a sensors, and you can give it a try and see if you like it or not. Uh, I think that's also a great thing for people to uh, to try because, you know, think about it. If you're going to pay for something, you want to try it, right? So uh, I think that's a great thing for them to offer. Uh, Libre 2, we said that it is much better accuracy than the old Libre. But the downside of Libre 2 is they still do not have a phone app, which means that you have to carry that meter with you and you have to upload to their um, web app in order for your doctor to see your data uh, or you have to go to physician's office for them to download and you have to do everything manually uh, versus the old Libre you can just basically use a phone app and scan your phone for your numbers and in between the numbers you know it's going to keep recording one thing some people forget is that Dexcom for example constantly keep recording your blood sugars but Libre if you don't do it at least every eight hours that device will stop working on you. So if you didn't check your blood sugar for two days, Libre will have no data for you to review retrospectively. So you better keep scanning your numbers at least every eight hours for that sensor to continue to work. Uh, so that's important to know. Another thing you need to also know that both Dexcom and Libre, if, you, if your sensors fail early, which happens sometimes, you know, like Dexcom works for 10 days, Libre works for 14 days, uh, but not always. Sometimes the device will fail. They're going to say change sensor and then you just paid for it. Either you paid a copay or you just uh, purchased out of pocket. Uh, but then you have a failed sensor. That's frustrating. So a lot of people don't know this, but you can call Dexcom and Libre and say, hey, I have a failed sensor. Uh, I'm just going to send it right back to you and you send it a new one right back to me. That way you don't have to lose any money. So, um, Another good thing about Dexcom, I'm going back and forth as I remember, uh, Dexcom works with a insulin pump, which is Tandem or T-Slim insulin pump, which is control IQ system, which I love, uh, especially for type 1 diabetics, but even for type 2 diabetics. Uh, but type 1, I think, is the best, batch, best match for this type of system because... When you use a pump that works with your CGM, with your Dexcom, where it's, a, it's like, a, like a closed loop feedback mechanism where your pump can adjust the insulin delivery based on your needs. If your blood sugars are not running high, your pump will cut back on the insulin. If your blood sugar is running high uh, because you don't give enough bolus with the insulin pump, then the, ins then, then the Dexcom will feed it back to, uh, to your pump and your pump will give you a little bit more bolus to try to keep your blood sugar under control. So I have seen a lot of great cases where we had trouble managing people's blood sugar, especially with brittle, brittle type 1 diabetic patients. When they went on the system, they did very well. Um, so, but again, if you are thinking about switching or using a pump in the future, and if you like that T-Slim pump, I wouldn't go buy Libre because Libre is not going to work with that pump. Um, so, um, as I said, Libre is much cheaper and everything, and it's easier to get your hands on. It's a better customer service. It's, uh, if you're a Medicare patient, uh, it's a lot easier to get Freestyle Libre uh, and so forth, uh, in, at least in my experience. Uh, but if you are wanting to go on an insulin pump such as tandem pump dexcom may be a better option and i always tell my patients that think you know thoroughly because you don't you know sometimes insurance companies will say oh you already have libre we're not going to give you anything else then you're stuck with libre uh so you have to consider those as well um but if you want to go for a metronic pump you know which a lot of people love a great customer service great pump uh they're still a market leader uh, but you don't really care about T-Slim or Dexcom much, or maybe they're too expensive for you, uh, then you can definitely use a Freestyle Libre sensor with the Medtronic insulin pump. And again, this is only for, I'm talking about the pump users, but if you don't have a pump, then you just think about everything else we talked about uh, for Dexcom and Libre com uh, comparison. Now, you're going to tell me that you didn't talk about the um, 
The Guardian. Well, I didn't talk about The Guardian uh, because it's not my favorite. Uh, it, it is it is a good sensor, but you still have to do a finger sticks. And when you talk about finger sticks, I'm not going to be like, uh, not, sh not so sure. But there are some people, for example, use Medtronic Pump, and Medtronic Pump goes with The Guardian sensor. And for those people who don't mind doing finger sticks, which there are a bunch of people, by the way, you think that people don't want the finger sticks, but I have a lot of people who don't mind finger sticks at all. So for those people who can do two couple finger sticks a day and see their data 24 seven uh, with just a few finger sticks and still have the luxury of pump communicating with their sensor, Medtronic and Guardian system is still a good option. So, I hope that video helped you guys. If it did, please give a thumbs up. Uh, please share this video with someone who may be considering to buy any of these devices. And we will see you in the next video. And remember, we have a lot of diet videos. We have a lot of other cholesterol. You name it. We have a lot of coming up. Just sign up and we'll see you in the next one.